the difference between the satanic and the direct violence is derivative by the scam artist or the illusion. And the illusionist convinces people that a thing is true and thus they are led to it. And thus the position requires marrying the truth to a lie so that it might be convincing. And to this extent it becomes in a fundamental aspect to infuse reality when creating other delusions and thus at no point can the magician engaging in the wizard circle ever lie the position requires the person to accept the illusion on their own while being fully accessed to the potential of the reality and thus the act of lying breaks the concentration and generates the function of a direct extortion which then bars the transfer of the negative karma from the person to the sin eater to that extent you generate the delusion by the lies which actually destroys the lie and to this end you have to exclusively tell the party the truth and thus the person telling the truth looks delusional by virtue of telling the truth while everyone else is keenly aware of the illusion and the function of everyone else being infused into the illusion requires them likewise to have exclusively been told the truth and thus the act of having lied to them creates a position of untrustworthiness which generates the retaliation which generates the repulsion which defeats the lie and thus the action requires complete and total honesty while lying to people and to that end you understand the fundamental magics of the satanists um, which builds extraordinary complexities to this function and to that end you require the action of the devil religion to never lie in that action you also have the action of barring the ability to engage in the delivery of services owed and then non-payment which would be itself a lie and the action of not paying is a lie you owe the thing and you don't deliver the product you lied about the delivery of the product you engaged in a lie, you dissolve the spell, and you are no longer transferring your negative karma or consequence to the sin eater. So the devil worshippers have to tell the most truths and be generically the most honest people in order for their illusions to be generated for that false reliance to have been particularly successful. And to this end, you generate the pretense of whether or not the scam can work on the basis of how reliable the party is and their delivering of reality and its obligations and its substance. To this extent, a cloud without rain is functionally a misery by virtue of its lie, and thus the correction is derivative by that illusion which creates the negative impacts of the lesser wizards which then can be discarded on the basis of their incapability to have performed the sustaining magics and the illusion then generates the assumption that the devils yea even the devils can be resurrected from their horrendous horrors by virtue of their ability to find pestilence in order to generate the miseries in retaliations which will allow them who are blamed fundamentally for the thing to in their illusion generate their sin eating function which they have received from another party which they have eaten the sin of another to be transferred again to another party which similarly according to the jewish religion must be a perfect party and thus a perfect person is the only one who can under that illusion eat the sin and to that extent the untainted parties 
who have benefited from the thing are the targets of the sin eating, which will then be consumed, and thus will become the baby Hitlers and the so ones by virtue of the horrendous natures of those who have conducted the actions around them, which they have accepted on purpose as their own in order to have received the particular benefit, purifying the demonic of their horrors and freeing them from the chains of hell by virtue of them not having a justification to remain there as their sins do not possess them, and thus are not attached to them, and thus do not stain them, and thus there is no reason for them to receive it. And this, then, has to, by virtue of itself, create the exponential additional hatred of the humans, who then, according to that delusion and understanding, become tricked into the position that they themselves deserve the position and can eat the sins instead of the devils escaping the hell, transforming themselves into the new devils for the next epoch. This requires the function of the wizards to acquire the taint of the devils to the condemned by virtue of itself, and thus in that action accepts the legitimacy of that devil which allows them to eat the sins of the devil which allows the devil to escape and have their place in the hierarchy of hell replenished and thus allows for their exit by virtue of not having to do the job anymore and thus they not having sin can exit hell and their place in the hierarchy is then replaced by the sin eater which has taken their place for the presumption of importance by the services of the function the devil played in hell. So Christ came to the earth in order to become the savior of mankind so that he, by his perfection, may become the pure and perfect lamp for sacrifice, at which point the sins of all mankind are consumed into Jesus, which has been opposed by the devils who opposed him by virtue of their rebellion in the attack against him. But in the act of the wizard's function have replaced themselves and seek to use the leverage of Jesus's mercies in order to ascend from hell by God's graces, having had their sin replaced by another who has accepted Holy, the position in the hierarchy for the services. So you see, the devils were actually the victims in all this, and that humanity has been blaming them for all their ills, and it has never had anything to do with them, and that they're just generically misunderstood. And so, to this extent, their rebellion, which was their choice, wasn't actually their fault, you see. And to that extent, they have nothing to apologize for, and will be accepting the permanent holistic graces of God happily, but without the repentance essentially necessary for the humans who are actually engaging in forbidden sins, barring them from the Father. So their actions cannot be derivative of their actions, but must be conducted by virtue of ritual, <coughs> which <coughs> allows for the system of changing hands until they do not possess it. Similar to uh, a comic book anime position of light, non-ironically enough, pun intended, trading his death note with the devils of the afterwards world uh, for a secure reason, and the justification to be disclosed at a later date, at which point he then can reclaim the death note <coughs> by virtue of how it switched hands according to the ritual, according to its particular specific actions, in a specific order, in a specific way, which generates the desired outcome having purged the inconvenience. Let's see if I can't uh, pull off without butchering too much an illusion derivative by 
the Kung Fu Panda series, which is an extraordinary piece of art, which expresses the deeper magic by telling the truth while allowing for the mechanism of the illusion to continue. So take, for instance, the, the assumption that you have a character which is considerably Tigger from Winnie the Pooh. You then take that Tigger, and the core identity of the Tigger can then be converted into the has been hotel's variation of itself, which then becomes the Fire Tiger, and thus the mechanism of the Fire Tiger, of its hellish version of its reality, then can be frozen, and thus, having been frozen, can then become a snow leopard. By virtue of the snow leopard being the most ideal position, has escaped its various threats, which have been pursuing it under the careful guidance of the <coughs> martial arts group. And to the extent you have the turtle hermit, which has ultimate power over the function, has engaged in this spell the ability to have converted his power, which is owed to the Tigger, and have taken it and separated itself away from it, and formed it into the function of the superiority, having promoted the uh, dragon warrior, and to this extent has divided unto itself its particulars from the redistribution of the resources. And to this extent, his prodigies have actively been promoted and trained in order to have manufactured themselves to the highest extent by virtue of the redistribution of those resources. But then, but then you have the repurposed functions which have subordinated itself to the Dragon Warrior arrangements, at which point Tai Long, who is owed the entirety of the resources, who was stolen so that it could become relevant, is owed the redistributions reforming into himself so that he might enjoy the benefits, which ironically is just a self-reflection upon himself, generating the position of its redistributed values according to his knowledge of his own image, which he is barred from understanding competently, at which point the trick requires him to not understand what he's looking at whenever he has assumed the mantle which has redistributed all of his things, which allows him to repurpose it only when he understands his own reflection does he understand his own chi and its potential. To this extent, Tigger, having been replaced by Winnie the Pooh, is then intended to become the Sin Eater, which then is transferred from Winnie the Pooh into Grumpy Bear from Care Bears, at which point you have the Wizard's Council, which his purpose is to consistently create the function of Grumpy Bear from Care Bears, then generates their illusion about the captured party under their control by the Wizards of Light. To this extent, they engage in their abuse simulation and abuse theater by virtue of their kidnapping, allowing for the illusions to consistently be reinforced in order to trick the general groups around that party in order to manufacture the desired outcome to the goals of validating the redistributed resources as they seek to engage in the superior functions of the Kung Fu in order to have controlled the Qi, in order to have manufactured the transfers of karmas, in order to remove the negative karma from their bad criminal choices away from themselves while they keep the benefits of it which requires them to consistently move around those resources as to assert themselves as having not truly been the party responsible for the taking as another party has taken it.
as they have subordinated themselves as merely a part of the flow of the river of the chi in question, which means they do not own the negative karma. But that can only be effective, again, with their complete and total honesty, as the illusion cannot sustain itself if they rely upon a lie or a defect of their creation, and thus it must be someone else's defect which generates the comprehension of how they are moving the energy. And on the acceptance of the solution, the general peoples become guilty by virtue of their acceptance of the illusion which then transferred the negative karma onto them settling it in the redistribution of the karmic fertilizer as it being divided amongst the masses can then easily be easier is easier to this extent to be digested and creates the positive disillusionment of the negative quality, which is the function of sacrifice of the general masses as sheep or the slaughter by the confederacy, which by definition is a fundamental quality of the confederate society, which makes it too entangled for an investigation to be able to settle the true liabilities and thus frees the wizards of the liability as they engage in this action. To that end, you generate the pretense of the superiority of their wealth, which has been laundered perfectly by virtue of their unwillingness to have lied about it, and their unwillingness to have defected into not performing the services owed. By virtue of these actions, they have performed themselves in the illusion magic to engage in the purification of their earnings and having legitimized it to their protection under law. But the low-brow suckers who need a warlock's patron in order to generate their superiority has to steal it and thus has to rely upon a devil who would then give them the profits connected to the taint which then taints them which they have accepted in the deal with the devil which they have accepted the injuries and the defects of that trap consuming the function for the exchange which has been provided legitimately having completely taken away the sins of the devil in question at which point the normalization of the replacement has taken place to the satisfaction of the ritual and the only way for them to escape it is the action of continuing the spell as though they are themselves not part of the offense requiring them exclusively to have told the truth including delivering the legitimate services. To this end, their claim that they do not want a remedy to a secret means that they have consumed into their own person the negative karmas directly associated to it so that the intergenerational function can transfer and be consumed exclusively to them until they themselves become the perfect embodiment of the cosmic trash can for their collection of its negative karmic waste, at which point they are entirely tarred by their greed. To the realization that aiding and abetting after the fact is a criminal offense, then those who have partaken in the profits have consumed the sin, and thus the inherent nature is to try and reject it instead of the disillusionment of the offense, and thus the action of trying to get rid of it allows for the dispersing of the function for the permanent injury, which is the primary engagement of the devils who have overseen the action, which has disavowed the prophets to this extent their position of feeling sorry for the fact that they were born rich generates the pretense of them giving away their resources, which then is a false penance to the thing which serves the demon Lord Frezu Bulu, which then continues the contamination of the system which has not consistently changed it. It's just ref removed the value from the deal with the devil away from the recipients of the benefit and 
then has exclusively provided the benefit to the devil, who has normalized the structure which is reinforced by the refusal to have fixed anything, and to this end generates the perpetuation of the engagement, which then allows the party which has renounced the thing to become the sin eater, which then allows them to replace the devils in question, who would then be able to escape from hell under the ritual exchanges by virtue of the action of somebody else having accepted the position as the normalization and thus have purified them from the action, allowing for their escape to this exclusion of the benefits of those who are robbed from and thus the action of stealing the benefit of the injury um, which is derivative by the armed robbery, which is harming the parties to be injured, requires them to remain as a sacrifice, and the action of sacrificing them is an essential action to the ritual, and thus the action of not freeing them from that position, but rather subjugating them to it under the ritual illusions by the fracturing of the confederacy generates the defect which has normalized the rituals for the devils which cannot at any point accept part of the negative karma in order to have escaped it at which point they cannot be party to the reason that it no longer continues they cannot conduct an action of will in order to escape the negative consequences of it collapsing in order for them to escape it, they have to allow for the self-momentum without the restraints, and they aren't allowed to acquire the subversion, which is similar to the action of conducting running in a race, where the person who is in the lead looks behind them in order to see how far behind everyone else is, which then inevitably makes them lose momentum by virtue of them being distracted from their race, at which point they would be too slow to escape it and not reach the recommended time essential for the ritual to engage in the escape. And this would be a key reason why the devil worshippers in the devil religion cannot engage in the function of the line, and thus the action of their attempt to conduct the subsidiary is an act of attachment of the ego which weighs them down which makes them fail and to this extent the function of the lengths between each plateau generates their obligation to reach the entirety of the checkpoint or engage in a catastrophic failure with a large drop into the bottom as the function of the spiral from their magic spell means that it's not the level right beneath them uh, from the plateau beneath them, the platform beneath them, but rather the total drop to the next series from the spiral down, which generates a crippling fall by virtue of their failure. And the devils, being lawful evil, do not engage in the function of mercy or the actions of compensation by virtue of sustaining themselves in a recovery from such an epic failure, which is to be punished and not to be sympathized with. And thus the benefits are exponentially exchanged according to the trick as to make parties forget what the actual objective was and then accept the negative consequences from the game of hot potato, at which point those that they lie to cannot receive the hot potato by virtue of it being a lie, and thus only the ones who understand the truth are exchanging the hot potato of the negative karma. To this end you generate the pretense of their obligation to engage in the service to their antichrist function, which is based on the devil religion's function of the sin eater, which allows them to purify the function exponentially, at which point those that they have created for that purpose must be purified in its entirety in order for them to accept the position as the ultimate antichrist if they satisfy the prerequisites. To this extent, they create the one-world satanic government of Revelation, 
under the Antichrist, which then has to be resurrected as though from the dead. To this extension, the abuse rituals of the Antichrist must be sustained for these legendary functions, which includes the function of not talking about it adequately engaged in the mass censorship so that the general public, not being formally aware of it, can continue in the support of the delusion while actively avoiding it. To this end, the function of the foolish wizards in the Confederacy are then duped by that function, which then generates the retaliation of that Antichrist that does not consume the sins of the Confederates, but rather destroys them for their sins, and thus they become the whore Babylon, which is the harlot that sits on the beast and is no longer tolerated and then consumed by virtue of that fact to this end, you have to assume the natural consequences of their negative decisions. So, the only way for them to have escaped it is for them to engage in the function of the illusion according to the rules of the spell, which requires them to tell the truth, which requires them to acknowledge the targets which have been abused by these illusionary functions in order to escape it. To this end, the parties which have targeted David Bowles under the assumption that they're engaging in the spell activities generates their negative compensation to engage as a duel. And to the function of the duel, they must acknowledge the birthright of the party in order to see at the time of the kidnapping the value of that title which was being destroyed for the sacrifice to the devils which must be renounced from the devils so that the devil would not receive the benefit of the sacrifice but they can receive the benefit from the sacrifice to this extent congress has to acknowledge david bowles at the time of the kidnapping in order to engage in the function of acknowledging everything that he's owed in the function of congress as intelligence oversights top rank general with the all due respect and naturally attached to it to this extent the only way for them to receive it is to reinforce their negative karma by the pretense of claiming there is no remedy to a secret and thus the function of a declaration of war requires the full acknowledgement and true honesty of the americans as separate to the confederacy as they vote for the confederacy to destroy the Americans as opposed to accepting the arguments of the sins of the Confederacy requiring the threats to national security of the United States to be leveraged against them by the American military to destroy the Confederacy at which point the function of beating the Americans is the only way for them to have purified it without it blowing up in their face which requires them to ignore the delusion long enough for mass distribution of reality. And the hyper-engorging of themselves into reality is the only way for them to have defeated the primary opponents, namely the devil and America. According to the illusionary function from their example, um, from the translation of the secret records that they've sent in their record, uh, in their secret court functions. Uh, the reason Sifu cannot beat Tai Long is the lie that they are unwilling to forfeit. And to the extent that Ugwe can defeat Tai Long is derived by his honesty in having removed himself from the karma and thus is capable of winning as he is not attached to it to this extent you understand that their uh, representation by the propaganda spell generates the acknowledgement that the only true way of winning is the full honesty the full compliance and responsibility the full detachment of ego from the results the full detachment of the negative karma which weighs them down which makes them lose and this is hyper amplified by the function of the abuse person which in context of itself stood no fundamental chance and at its reality you have the understanding 
that the entire assumption, going back to basics, is the perfect reflection of oneself, and thus the identity of the illusion having been fully dissolved is the only real function which generates the ability to reconstruct the free market from legal reality without the simulation, which they by definition are trying to escape from by virtue of their thefts and constructions, generating that to the end of having cleaned the system by the redirection of energies. To this extent, it became important to them that the true understanding of the self by the full engorging of reality was essential for their actions to have been cleaned, and thus somebody else must acquire the taint from their negative behavior, and thus they must have the alternative justifications in order to engage in that action, requiring them in full reality to tell the truth in its entirety and having fully embraced it in order to have kept reality away which allowed for the redirection for Uwe to have beaten Tai Long who was not properly aware of the entirety of the competence of himself or the meaning of it even if he did see it generating the negative consequences from these compounding decisions and upon the ability to find oneself upon legal reality in a free market without the obstruction is the only way to have competently redigested the wholeness of the potential value which would have been stolen from them in the redirection and redistribution of the resources to this end you understand that the capacity of the regeneration according to the identity which is the functional position, the acknowledgement and the study of the importance of one's identity is the only true way of having released oneself from the negative karma while receiving all of the benefits. The joke that the devils play upon the silly wizards is the assumption that they can acquire it without earning it, whereas earning it is the only way to acquire it, purifying it is the only way for them to assert to themselves that they are wholly worthy of the thing generating their ability to digest it into reality upon the heavens, and to this end generate the pretense of their theft to be a distractionary road which exclusively proves the folly of their own inherent inferiority, requiring them to have engaged in the self-improvement that they have intentionally avoided in order to have acquired the stolen goods in the first place, and thus engaged in the fundamental lesson that the discipline and the advancement of the competition is itself the function of the purification which generates the legitimacy and the right to ownership, and to that end allows themselves to be freed from the karmic stupidity of their inferiors that beg them for stolen properties and goods and validation.